Say it's your boy Jumper Boy here, and as you saw, that was the trailer for Forza Motorsport 6. Uh, sorry if I didn't post like uh, an update video uh, talking about this uh, earlier. Um, it, I just couldn't get a video out uh, during the night just because of my parents being asleep. So yeah, apologies uh, if this is a little bit late, but whatever, it's what it is. Uh, so yeah. So oh my God, Forza 6 has been like truly announced and what a trailer they gave us to be honest it was absolutely perfect and yeah let's get into this so we'll start off with the start of uh, their little like uh, E3 thing um, they start off with the Ford uh, movie uh, which basically covers uh, which basically covers the success of Ford hence it was uh, Ford's 50th year so of course Porter and Ford got together to really just uh, showcase and really hype up the new Ford GT which is really what the trailer was all about hyping up the new Ford GT uh, which is going to be in the new Ford Motorsport 6 game so yeah they uh, they had like this crane which uh, dropped the uh, stage uh, with the 4 GT, the new 4 GT coming down, and oh my god, that was awesome! That was truly, truly awesome. Uh, they Dan Greenwald and Henry Ford come on the stage, they talk a little bit, and yeah, they just show us the trailer. And oh my god, what a trailer that was! Jesus Christ, it was a fantastic trailer. Um, we'll get right down to it, let's, let's break this down. So we'll start off with Top Gear, a little sceptical on that one to be honest because um, I'm thinking how is it going to work this time around that because three of the three of the, three of the previous hosts have been uh, gone, they're gone, Hammond, May and Clarkson are gone, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out whether we're going to get a Top Gear track and that's it or whether it's going to be something like the new host because I did hear there was a new host being confirmed so um, maybe, we can, maybe we'll hear the new host I don't know, we'll have to see on that one uh, another thing rain, the rain graphics oh my god do they look stunning especially when the uh, Bugatti loses it out of control goes into the mud in the rain it looks absolutely stunning as well to another good shot as well with the Ferrari 458 speciality going around Seabring in the wet looks absolutely stunning the rain the the rain spray the spray of the rain is absolutely awesome and of course the track oh night racing as well too that looks stunning 
Uh, particularly in the in the gameplay, I mean, it looks absolutely stunning. Also, by the way, the gameplay looks absolutely goddamn gorgeous. I mean, just Jesus Christ, it looks absolutely polished. Uh, as you saw at the start, it looks absolutely polished. Just, it looks awesome. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's, that it looks pretty damn awesome. Um, the night rate, especially in night as well, uh, really, really looks really immersive, which is nice to see. As well, too, we get uh, a look at the new tracks. Uh, by the way, the confirmed tracks are just the uh, ones that we got in Forza 5, uh, bar the four that are coming to Forza 6, which are uh, Watkins Glen, which looks absolutely awesome. We got a glimpse of that in the trailer. Uh, Daytona, which we got a glimpse as well in the trailer. We only got like a shot of it, and that was it. Um, uh, Rio, which we got a lot of shots of, which is absolutely sick. Um, I got like a little look at it. Um, it looks like the Bernie's out mixed with uh, the Singapore Grand Prix track, which looks absolutely stunning. Uh, which, is absolutely, which is good. Uh, it looks absolutely stunning as well too. Uh, the graphics look good for that track. Well, nice and synced into Forza, which is nice. And we get my favourite track. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, we get Brands Hatch, my favourite track of all time, coming to Forza Motorsport 6. Oh my god, that is fantastic. With the night and rain physics, dude, that is awesome. That is truly awesome. That has just made my day right there. Oh my god, thank you Forza. Just, you just gave me my favourite racetrack in the world for me to play on. That is awesome. That is truly awesome. So yeah, I'm totally excited to try that track out. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Excited to try it out on my favourite cars. So yeah, oh my lord, the P1 and the Brand Hatch and all that. My favourite car, the P1 and the Brand, and my favourite track, the Brand Hatch. Dude, Matt, that's going to be awesome. Oh my lord, I'm totally pumped for that. I'm totally pumped to try that track out. So yeah, we also got a uh, little bit of information talking about. Uh, the additions that you can, you can get for Forza 6. So, for starters, we've got Forza Motorsport 6 Standard Edition, which includes 10, 10 year anniversary car pack and pre order bonus car. Uh, a little bit skeptical, uh, I'm a little bit excited to see what that's going to be. Um, Forza Motorsport 6 Deluxe Edition, so 10 year anniversary car pack, because, uh, because uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, Forza is, uh, is 10 years old now, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that pack is going to include. Uh, so yeah, uh, first Forza Motorsport 6 car, uh, DLC car pack, VIP cars and memberships, and like I said for the standard pre-order bonus car. For the, uh, the uh, ultimate edition, you get the 10-year anniversary car pack, first Forza Motorsport 6 car, uh, car DLC car pack, uh, VIP cars and membership, Forza Motorsport 6 car pass. Uh, the pre-order bo uh, bonus, uh, oh my god, uh, pre-order bonus car and early access to Forza Motorsport 6. So that is pretty cool, that is awesome, I think just right in terms of, you know, what they're going to give us in terms of, you know, additions and whatnot. Absolutely right, I would say. So yeah, I mean... Absolutely pumped, absolutely excited. I'll probably get the deluxe to be honest, um, just because I think Ultimate would just be ridiculously expensive for my liking. So, yeah, I think I'll be just getting the deluxe to be honest. So, yeah, but honestly, wow, that is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, like I said, getting the deluxe pack, and yeah, so that has been Forza Motorsport 6. That's all they gave us for E3 so far. If there's any updates, I'll, I'll uh, post it on Twitter. So yeah, uh, uh, stay so stay tuned uh, via my Twitter, which is at jumpboy18. Link is down below. So yeah, absolutely pumped for Forza Six. Wow, that is ab that was an absolutely perfect trailer. Couldn't ask for more. Jesus Christ, I'm absolutely pumped for Forza Six, which is coming September fifteenth. So yeah. Defo getting this game to be honest so yeah but for now let's move on into need for speed 
icons can drive you, push you to the edge, and around here, they will inspire you. For some, style is all that matters. Others build, searching for perfection. The fearless always push the limit or crave the thrill of the chase. Some only ride with their crew, but all do it for the reputation. How you drive, it's up to you. Remember you. As you saw there, that was some uh, that was the trailer for Need for Speed, and also a gameplay trailer as well, which I'll talk uh, later on. But we'll start off with the uh, we'll start off with what they said on the uh, stage when talking about Need for Speed. Basically, there was a guy who was talking a bit about Need for Speed. Basically, there is the you're basically the city is called Venturi Bay, which is absolutely a nice sick name actually by the way. Um, it's going to be two times bigger than what we saw from Rivals, which is absolutely fantastic, awesome. We'll Brit will have a lot more ex explanation. Uh, ex oh my lord! It will have a lot more uh, exploring this going on. Um, basically, the gist of this game is uh, there are five icons. Basically, you need to get them their respect to become the ultimate icon. So, the icons include speed, style, crew, build, and outlaw, the so five icons. And yeah, like I said, earn the respect and you'll get to become the ultimate icon for all of them. So, that is pretty cool. Um, and also there's going to be a lot more narrative, a lot more sort of what we saw from like Most Wanted and Carp and whatnot. So yeah, that will really be perfect. That is absolutely awesome. Can't wait to try that out. Definitely doing uh, a Let's Play on it. I mean, just, oh my lord. I can't wait to try that game out. Um, from what we're getting so far, perfect. Really perfect right up. Uh, right up from the uh, Need for Speed. So yeah. As well, too, we got to look at the customization. The customization actually looks quite good. Um, yeah, um, the customization looks quite good. Uh, they said it's going to be probably the best they've ever seen in any Need for Speed game, which is fantastic. I think this is why a lot of people have been wanting it for, to be honest, because you know a lot of people who play Need for Speed come from sort of like the aftermarket sort of body work, sort of tuning, uh, tuning sort of life. So. Yeah, I mean, to have that back in the game is going to absolutely please a lot of people because in, in recent Need for Speeds we haven't had a lot of customization, you know, to be honest, because all we've had uh, for customization when we had rivals was uh, some pursuit, uh, some pursuit equipment, uh, NOS uh, engine upgrades and whatnot, and that was it. So not a lot going on, but this looks like it's ticked all of the right boxes. Uh, for all of the people's uh, ex uh, for all the people's needs, so yeah, that's fantastic to see. We also got a quick look at the gameplay as well. The gameplay looks absolutely sick. I absolutely love it as well. Um, looks nice and polished. Looks really realistic. I really like the the lighting in this. It looks really nice. The the way the rain has been uh, 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 the way the uh, the rain's been uh, the way the rain's been architecture is absolutely awesome. Really looks absolutely stunning to me. It really looks really beautiful. And uh, basically, um, on the gameplay as well, they also showed uh, the player going for like a drift, uh, drift event, which is awesome uh, because most people who play Need to Be in the past come from a drifting background. So to see that sort of fully back in the game is awesome. You know, really sort of. Uh, really uh, bringing a lot of drifting drifting heads to Need for Speed to be honest so that's awesome to see that uh, for me not bothered about it it's cool to see that in there uh, the cops in the game absolutely look really realistic um, 
way better than uh, what we got in our rivals, which is basically supercar, supercar cops chasing other supercars and whatnot, which is really unrealistic. There's a finally see some realistic cops. Uh, it's fantastic. I think we'll really make the cop chases a little bit more realistic, which is awesome to see. So yeah. We'll make it more like of a playing field for the uh, for the races rather than the races having to be a little bit outnumbered by the uh, supercar cops. So yeah, so uh, yeah, that's been. I would say that has been for uh, that's been Need for Speed. Absolutely fantastic. That it comes out November third, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, if you get EA Access, you can get it like a week earlier, I, I, I think, uh, to the launch of that game. So, yeah, it costs uh, five bucks in the US. I'm not sure in, or how it, what it is in the UK. Comment down below if you know what it is. But, damn, I may get it, to be honest. Um, but I think, honestly, I'll just wait until it, it comes out on November 3rd, to be honest. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'll definitely, I'm, I'm definitely getting it. I think it's going to be a great game. Uh, hopefully it's good, hopefully it, it's the need for speed that everyone's been waiting for for a long time, so yeah. So that's been the, that's been the Forts of Motorsport 6 slash need for speed uh, trailers for you guys. They'll, they'll also spin some screenshots for both games which I'm going to show at the end of the video. So yeah, it's been your boy Jibber Boy, uh, I'm out. Uh, please like, subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Boy Jibber Boy, I am out. Peace and enjoy the screenshots. Under palm trees waiting for the summer no